Welcome to the fourth annual Aldean Film and Photography Festival, recorded live from Aldean. Was supposed to be live from MOC, but weather happens. We would like to thank the Aldean Education Foundation for years of support. As a small way of showing our appreciation, we will donate the proceeds from last year's calendar sales to help fund the Ken Knippel Scholarship Fund. And now, your host, Leanne Duckett. Welcome to the fourth annual Aldean IC Film and Photography Festival. I'm Leanne Duckett. I'm a sophomore at Nimitz High School, and I am your hostess for this award ceremony. As you're watching along, go ahead and tweet tagging at Aldean TV and make sure to hashtag hashtag Aldean Media Fest 2019. Our first category is High School Narrative. When judging this category, the judges considered the overall storytelling of the film. Creativity, storytelling, and lots of planning are required to do well in this category. And our three finalists are Maru Vela from MacArthur High School, Andre Shaw from Nimitz High School, and Miriam Gutierrez from Blanson CTE. In third place, we have Andre Shaw. In second place, Maru Vela. And in first place, Miriam Gutierrez. Great job, guys. You'll be able to see these films on www.aldeantv.com after this evening. We'll be posting a playlist on the site so we can watch and enjoy all these great student films. The next category is High School Documentary. By saying that narrative takes a lot of planning, it does not take away from the planning it takes to pull off a creative and informative documentary. With a narrative, you start with the story and then film. While with the documentary, you know the subject or topic and hope that you can find the footage that will support that story or sometimes, as a filmmaker, you are even surprised with the outcome of the time spent filming. And our finalists are Tanya Campos Martinez from Davis Senior High School, Dylan Martinez from Eisenhower 9th grade, and Ryan Lawrence from Davis Senior High School. And third place, Dylan Martinez from Eisenhower 9th grade. And in second place, Ryan Lawrence from Davis Senior High School. And in first place, Tanya Campos Martinez from Davis Senior High School. Congratulations, you guys. The next category is High School 60 Second Short Film. This is far different from the previous two styles of films and more than just the obvious time constraints. To make a great 60 second short, you have to supply the story right away. There is no padding. Time is the essence in this category. The benefits of the three act structure are not there. It works like stand up comedy. The se setup and payoff have to be very close together. And our three finalists are Alyssa Gonzalez, Aldine High School, Mackenzie Glenn from Victory Early College, and Yang Wen from da Davis Ninth Grade. And in third place, Mackenzie Glenn from Victory Early College. In second place, Yang Wen from N Davis ninth grade, and in first place, Alyssa Gonzalez from Aldean High School. Great job. The next category and final high school film category is broadcast journalism. This is a wonderful category that may, may be the most difficult of all the previous, as you start with the footage and then figure out what the story is. Sometimes even the student journalist is able to film the footage live and have to work with the producers to come up with a way to present the story within minutes. The planning and preparation comes when no stories are happening and they're just waiting for something to happen. Our finalists are Omar Damian from Nimitz High School and Drayton Turner from Davis High School. In third place, it's Omar Damian from Nimitz High School. In second place, Turner, Drayton Turner from Davis Senior High School. And in first place, Omar Damian. Omar was also the producer of several different episodes from The Admiral, so great job, you guys. Several years ago, we added photography as part of the film festival. You might not know this, but photos used to be shot on film. The partnership between film and photography has flourished. The art teachers in Aldine are the best. We had over 485 student pieces of art submitted for judging in primary, middle, and high school categories. In addition, last year we added the employee category, adding over 100 pieces of art to be judged. I just want to take a moment to encourage you guys to tweet out about this award ceremony. And when you do, please tag at TV. And if you know at Dr. Kells 50 
She would love you to tag her. Some say she's a prolific Twitter person, but others say Dana Baker from Wilson is a better Twitter advocate. Now, back on track. The finalists in our photography category are Emily Fuentes from Blanston High School, Devin Mendez from MacArthur High School, and Isabel Rivas from Nimitz High School. And third place is Devin Mendez. In second place, it's Emily Fuentes. And in first place, Isabel Rivas. Way to go, you guys. Congratulations to all of our high school directors, producers, and photographers. It was not an easy task judging all of these pieces of art. The criteria, the criteria the judges use when determining the winners for the photo category is based on two elements, purpose and craftsmanship. Starting off, we're going back to narrative film, but on the middle school level. With the middle school level, as you can imagine, there are different hosts, there's a different host of issues. First being that the infrastructure is not as in place as the, uh, the higher level. But if you think that stopped them, you're highly mistaken. Our finalists are Emily Marquez from Little Lewis Middle School, Nancy Gonzalez, also from Lewis Middle School, and Daylin Lee Marino from Teague Middle School. In third place, we have Nancy Gonzalez. In second place, Daylin Lee Moreno. And in first place, Emily Marquez. Congratulations. The next category is middle school documentary. Our finalists are Alondra Guerrero from Aldine Middle School, Iriel Cortez, Shotwell Middle School, and Kiara Dennis from Hoffman Middle School. And in third place, Ariel Cortez, Shotwell Middle School. In second place, Kiara Dennis from Hoffman Middle School. And in first place, Alondra Guerrero from Aldine Middle School. Great job, you guys. The next category is Middle School 60 Second Short. Our finalists are Jonathan Bush from Lewis Middle School, Leslie Eileen Sanchez from Hamburg Middle School, Marquise Von Drell Wilson, also from Hamburg Middle School. In third place, we have Marquise Evandrel Bell Wilson. In second place, Jonathan Bush. And in first place, Leslie Eileen Sanchez. Great job. The final middle school video category is middle school broadcast journalism. Our finalists are Brandon Argis from Hoffman Middle School, Brandon Andrus from Hoffman Middle School, Jalea Baker from Shotwell Middle School. And in third place, Brandon Andrews. And in second place, Julia Baker. Julia Baker is also in first place for another video she, they submitted. Congratulations. The last category for middle school is photography. The beauty of the picture as seen through a child's eyes to really see that in all of our selections that were submitted this year. With over 100 pictures in this category, it was difficult to choose first, second, and third, but we had to. Our finalists are Artica McDaniels from Plummer Middle School, Graciela Padron from D Drew Middle School, and Valentina Morfin from Chateauville Middle School. And in third place, Valenti Val Valentina Morfin. And in second place, Artica McDaniels. And in first place, Graciela Padron. Great job, you guys. And with that, we have come to the end of the middle school awards, but Aldine's in Aldine doesn't just have talented high school and middle school students. Their talent gets started in elementary school, and the Aldine Film Festival awards those talented individuals as well. Starting off, we are going back to narrative film, but on the elementary school level. The films were produced by the elementary students are truly a work of passion. These young students are the future of this growing program. Our finalists are Jessica Carbajal from Wilson Elementary, Sarah Stockbridge from Wilson Elementary, and Jolena Danful, also from Ele Wilson Elementary. I'm seeing a pattern here. <laughs> and in third place, Jessica Carbajal. Second place, Sarah Stockbridge. And in first place, Jelena Danful, you guys did awesome. The next category is elementary school documentary. Our finalists are Maya Sid from Dunn Elementary, 
Sonia Tomoski, Wilson Elementary, and Gabriela Berlanga, Irmo Elementary. And in third place, Gabriela Berlanga. In second, Maya Sid. And in fir first place, Sonia Tomoski. Great job. The next category is Elementary School's 60 Second Short Film. Our finalists are Edmundo Juarez from Wilson Elementary, Destiny Hardy Reed Elementary, Osvaldo Martinez from Irmo Elementary, and third place, Osvaldo Martinez, and second place, Edmundo Juarez, and in first place, Destiny Hardy. Congratulations. The next and final video category is the Elementary School Broadcast Journalism. We have many of our elementary students who have participated in the journalism project that was funded by the Aldean Education Foundation. The teachers who were involved in the program worked tirelessly with their student groups to produce content that was student driven. Even in elementary, students are helping to drive their own learning. Now, our finalists are Abigail Hernandez from Parker Elementary. Bridget Herrera from Dunn, and Zaina Muslet, also from Dunn. In third place, Abigail Hernandez. And in second place, Zaina Muslet. And in first place, Bridget Herrera. You guys did amazing. Our final elementary category is photography. Our elementary students are able to see the world from a different perspective. No one has yet told them the rules of thirds or how they should take a picture. Now, our finalists are Yamina Frias from Kujua Elementary, Samaria Easley from Greens Point Elementary, and Emily Reyes from Escamilla Elementary. In third place is Yamina Frias. In second place, Emily Reyes. And in first place in this year's elementary photography category, is Samaria Easley. Our final category is the Faculty Photography Contest. We had nearly 100 faculty members from all over the district submit. In no particular order, our finalists are America Ruiz, Sarah Kirsch, and Dana Baker. In third place is Sarah Kirsch. In second place, America Ruiz. And in first place is Dana Baker. She also receives a banner for her school. Great job, you guys. Finally, I wanted to thank you guys for your support for all of our students who work tirelessly to provide the work that we have been celebrating. We have really gone all in for Aldi. Remember to tweet out about this event. Let's crash the internet with all the fantastic work that Aldine's, Aldine students and staff are doing. Thank you and see y'all next year. Have a great day.